hello everyone uh, welcome back to automation testing inside so friends in this video i'm going to talk about uh, selenium locators and their priorities okay so this is very important topic uh, and uh, this core of selenium so until unless if you don't know what are different locators and how to locate uh, uh, the web elements on a web page then it will be very difficult you know to automate any web pages okay so this is very important topic so this is the agenda for today so we'll talk about what are locators what are different types of locators uh, in selenium our uh, locators priorities and we'll see uh, different locators with syntax and example and at last we'll talk about uh, how we can categorize uh, locators so what are locators okay so locators provide a way to access the html elements from a web page okay so in the previous video also we have seen um, how to there are what are the different types of web elements in a web page right so there are different type of web elements like we have uh, edit box checkbox radio buttons image hyperlinks so how to interact with them right so we need a medium or we need a way to access them so locators come in comes into the picture okay so using locators we can locate them we can interact with them and we can perform whatever actions we want to perform and locator types so selenium doesn't have any inbuilt capability or mechanism uh, to locate any ui elements on the web pages so in order to find ui elements on the web page uh, selenium has to has to take the help of locators so we have eight types of locators in selenium so we have id locator uh, name locator class name we have link text uh, partial link text tag name css selector and xpath so this is the priority uh, priorities of all the locators okay so id comes first because since id is unique so this is a very fast locator okay this works very uh, fast and second comes name third would be class name uh, fourth is link text so if you have a hyperlink then we can work with link text okay and if link uh, uh, string is very lengthy that link uh, text is very lengthy then we can go for partial link text we have tag name the sixth one seventh is css selector and the last one is xpath so let's discuss about uh, id id locator first okay so id locator is faster among all locators so if any web element has id as an attribute we must use id locator because since this is unique so i think we should go for id locator so no need to no need to check any other locators in that case so id should always be unique in web page so ideally it should be unique but sometimes might be uh, because of developers fault uh, id is not unique okay that's different case so id locator is faster because as it rules it calls document dot get element by id this is javascript method which is very much much optimized by many browsers even id helps in finding web elements uniquely as we have discussed okay so this is the syntax by dot id username so let me just show you so this is my web page from let's open any demo website so let's go with wordpress today so if we inspect this edit box okay this username field so here you can see id user login so this is id locator uh, i mean we can use this id to id to locate this particular element username okay in this case and example so driver dot find element by dot id username so guys i am not going to explain with the help of uh, any program today no coding today okay because any anyways uh, we have to discuss each and every locators with the help of program going forward 
so i'll explain each and every locator like uh, id name class name css selector xpath we'll discuss in detail okay so i'm just giving some uh, syntax and example over here okay so in this case driver is an object find element is a method by is an uh, by is a class id is a locator okay and username is value and what are the what is the advantage of this so each id is supposed to be unique so no chance of matching several elements so if, because since id is unique so we can go for it okay so they, it won't match any other web elements and what is the disadvantage works well only on elements with fixed ids and not generated ones okay so if id is fixed then we can easily work with id locator unless i um, uh, if it's if it if it is not the dynamic one a uh, name locator so this is the second locator so name locator comes after id if any web element has not id attribute we can use name attribute if applicable so if you can see in this web page okay so here we have name log so we can use this name locator okay and this is the example this is the syntax by dot name and log example is driver dot find element by dot name log okay and what is the advantage works well with fixed list of similar elements so if you can share the same name so since this is not unique so it it is not very much recommended okay sometimes uh, you may find uh, uh, same elements with a uh, different web elements with same name okay same with the class name as well so third locator is class name so class name locator comes after name if any web element has not id and name attribute we can use class name attribute if applicable so this is the syntax uh, by dot class name username and the syntax is sorry this is yeah this is uh, it is duplicated here example is driver dot find element by dot class name this is the username username value okay so this is how we can use so if you can see here we have one class attribute here so if you can use this input as class name okay but class but class name may be duplicated here because class name is used here and probably for this element as well password for password also the class name is input okay so we should be uh, very careful while using class name as well so same uh, like uh, name locator we have advantage and disadvantage and here comes the third and fourth sorry this is the fourth and fifth link text and partial link text locator so this link text locator works only on links hyperlinks right so it is called as link text locator partial link text so in some situation we may need to find links by by a portion of the text in a link text okay so i'll show you so here we have lost your password okay lost your password so we can use this link lost your password and uh, for partial like we can use lost your or you can use password and this question mark for partial link text so we can use this uh, string to locate using link text or partial link text so this is the syntax given will only select anchor elements so this is the advantage so it will it only works with a uh, link uh, anchor elements okay useful when testing navigation so for navigating from one page to another page so for navigation purpose this is very good uh, what you can say uh, very good locator this is a disadvantage you have to know the text of the link before so we have to check the link uh, text of that particular hyperlink before working with this okay so if if you have a link is uh, string is very lengthy then you can use we can go for partial link text as well 
and here comes tag name locator so a tag name is a part of dom structure where every element on a web page is been defined by tag like input tag button tag anchor tag etc okay is so each tag has multiple attributes like id name values class etc so we have different tags in a web page right so we have discussed in previous session so we can here we can use like a tag or input tag okay for username here we have input tag input tag so let me just show you so if you search with input so here we have found six elements one of six right so we should be very careful and uh, we need to customize this while working with uh, tag okay so also we can work with uh, you can also use the tag name locator in combination with attribute while using xpath or css selector so we can use this tag name while working with css selector or xpath as well in the combination of you know using xpath or css selector so this is the advantage so disadvantage is in a simple basic scenario where an element is located just via tag it may lead to a lot of values being identified and may cause issues so suppose i want to uh, identify this using tag but the tag name is input but here we found six elements so this would be very uh, this will create the problem while automating this okay yeah css selector locator so css stands for cascading style sheets okay so by using css selectors we can find or select html elements on the basis of their id class or other attribute so it works with the combination of different like tag and id tag and class okay so css is faster and simpler than xpath particularly in case of i browser where xpath works very well very slowly so it is very good with to work with i using css selector okay so see we can work with different combinations using C uh, css so like we can use tag and id tag and class tag and attribute tag class and attribute together and at last in a tags in a text okay so css in selenium has an interesting feature of allowing partial string matching using using these uh, special characters okay so this is the example i have given so by dot css selector we can use like this input and hashtag in email so input is a tag okay and email is the id so these are the different example so anyways we are going to discuss css selector in detail uh, with the help of uh, web driver program so don't worry about that we'll automate uh, for uh, each and every scenarios here okay and what is the advantage so it is faster it also improves the performance since it is very fast so definitely it will improve the performance of the script execution time okay so it is very compatible across browsers so we can work with uh, uh, css uh, for cross browser testing as well because sometimes what happens is uh, uh, if you find using xpath in one browser okay if you locate any particular element using xpath then it may not you know locate or it may not work in any other browser so css is best for i as xpath does not work in i always and this is the disadvantage writing css is not simpler than xpath okay so writing is little bit uh, difficult but uh, i'll explain in easy ways how to uh, work with css selector the next one is xpath locator so xml path so it is the slowest among all locators but it provides you reliable ways to locate web element uh, so this is very important xpath is also important since this is uh, slowest uh, i mean as you it, uh but uh, i mean it is if it is it is slow slowest but uh, it is very reliable okay so this is the syntax for uh, xpath okay so tag name 
an attribute value or already we have uh, worked with this xpath earlier in our while writing the first line of webdriver script so anyways i am i'm going to discuss about xpath in detail okay uh, there are different methods uh, associated with xpath xpath that is called xpath axis so we'll use them so i'll create a separate video for that okay so this is the example uh, advantages allows very precise locators okay and disadvantages xpath engines are different in each browser hence make them inconsistent across browsers not every time but sometimes uh, this may happens okay so that means if you write xpath for your application in chrome browser it may not work on ie so sometimes it happens okay so this is about xpath locator and this is uh, locator categories so we can divide uh, locator can be locators can be classified into two categories structure based locators so locators that rely on the structure of the page to page find elements okay so these are the uh, structure based xpath and uh, css so these are totally depends on dom structure okay and these are the attributes based locators so locators that relies on the attributes of the elements to locate them okay like id name link css class name so these are the attribute based okay so these uh, these are the two ways we can categorize uh, locators and in the next video we'll talk about uh, id name and class name in detail okay with the help of selenium web driver program so thank you guys for watching this video uh, bye bye